There will be occasions where a patient might fracture their leg, hence the bone, the fracture, and you're unable to address the fracture right away. In those cases, you're going to want to place a temporary bandage. That bandage is called a Robert Jones bandage. We're going to demonstrate that right now. We're going to place our gloves on. Okay. Because there's an open wound here, you don't want to get the bandage material into that wound, and you don't want it to stick to that wound. You're going to place your telephone pad right over top of it. And then you're going to place your stirrups on your patient. Again, you don't want to place your stirrups over your wounds. Use your tongue depressor to keep your tape completely to itself. At this point, we're going to want to add padding. This is called roll cotton. It's meant to add a lot of bulk and cushion without cutting off circulation to your patient. You're going to unroll it just around your patient's leg. The idea behind this, I was gonna say there's no more leg there. Um, you want it to be very thick. You want to use it to immobilize the leg. It might seem a little excessive, but that's what you really want. We need to snug it down. Now, whereas you've been just making this snug so that you don't cut off circulation, the amount of roll cotton that you've placed in here will be the reason why you can snug this one down a lot tighter without cutting off circulation. You're going to aim for that 50% coverage. Because it's roll cotton, it might stick just a little bit, so you might have to make some adjustments as you roll. You will go through a lot more material, so you want to be prepared and make sure you have enough roll cotton stretch gauze and vet wrap to go around the wound. Now when I ran out of the stretch gauze, you saw how I overlapped it because one layer is, or one roll is going to keep the other roll in place. Alright, this is a good point to show you guys that I'm snugging it down, look at the thickness that I'm compacting the roll cotton. I am making it tight. something to hold. Okay, once you have your stretch gauze on, you're going to have your assistant hold the roll flat so it doesn't swing around. Take your stirrups and twist them up. You want to turn it so the sticky side is against the bandage. we're going to put some vet wrap on. This again, you're going to make a little bit tighter and your toes are sticking out. You're going to want to start so that you can cover the cotton over the toes. So I will come back down there to address it on my way back down. Overlap 50%. 
percent. If the concept works the way it's supposed to, the wrinkles are not going to cause pressure sore because you have two inches of cotton around your pet's leg immobilizing it. You would not have all the excess of cotton coming out of the top of your bandage material, but I'm going to leave us some place to hold on to our fake leg since it's not attached to a patient. See how I'm covering over the edge? If you have a wandering piece of tape, use your porous tape. And then you're going to place your elasticon over all of this. You want to make sure the toes are visible because you want to be able to assess heat, discoloration, moisture, swelling of your patient's toes. They should stick out just a titch more than my uh, whole needle does. Our noodle beetle is a little short in the toe department. So ideally your toes are going to be sticking out right here. And there's your Robert Jones. <laughs>